Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode brought to you by Games Glitches. And before we start up with our current episode, I would love to talk to you guys for just a brief second as a YouTuber to, well, a subscriber or to a watcher. Uh, lately, I've noticed that you guys have been saying that uh, some of my glitches weren't on point in the sense of that they weren't on time and that somebody else covered them. You guys have to understand that this is, uh, I'm the only one person uh, making this. I do have a full-time job. YouTube is just a hobby to me. You know, I do have a girlfriend. The reason, like, during summer right now, I can put in slightly more time into YouTube because I have currently no summer classes but once they begin again I will be kind of if any cases sometimes will be lacking behind because I pre-make videos and I upload them you know and I judge them based on the importance if in that time process somebody else uploads something similar than that I am not going to sit back and remake the video it, it, you guys seen my intros and all of that you know, I put work into the things that I do. You know, at least I try to, so you guys, you know, into, enjoy them. Sometimes I go overboard and you guys like, you know, when I make Pokemon Go jokes and stuff like that. You know, you, we, I get it. I get it where you guys are coming from and I have no problem with that. So I just wanted to, you know, talk to you guys about that because it seemed like, you know, a lot of you guys are having, like, some difficulty saying, like, you know, oh, this guy did this glitch, you know, you're a little late on it. I I'm sorry, you know, there's, again, there's just one me, and I figured I'd mention this. I'm also gonna, like, kind of mention this in my Division episode for those people who don't watch side games that I do outside of Division. You know, sorry for wasting your time, ladies and gentlemen, just figured I'd talk to you guys, because, you know, I, I rarely ever get to talk to you guys in person, you know. All I can do is read comments, and a lot of them are troll comments, and so it's really hard for me guys to have a heart-to-heart -heart chat with all of you. In any case, uh, right now we're gonna take a look at Dead by Daylight new patch that came out, 1.0.4. They've done some quite rebalancing features. Uh, one of the major ones that I want to mention is that randomly now a window will be blocked. As you guys could see right here, before you were, would be able to jump out this window. Now when your ma match begins, any one of these windows can be now randomly blocked off so you would not be able to jump out. So your current strategy or your current duking tactic that you had might not work because now they will, there will be a window block. You know, there could be a window block. Now, right here we got ourselves Cold Wind Farm Fractured Butthole. I mean, cow shed. Close enough. They actually did a interesting job with... This is the cow shed, apparently, you know. It's the brand new map that they just released yesterday. Definitely, it looks like they were thinking about giving the survivors a better ability to make it and kind of still be able to duke the killer. They definitely removed a lot of infinite duking glitches, like, you know, this is a new spot and shit. It looks really nice. Like, um, in 1.4, uh, 1.04, excuse me there, uh, they also have added several styles, clothing, hairstyles, and for the characters. Let's just go through the quickly the loadout so you guys could check them out. They're actually really, really nice. So we have here our customizations. Here our re regular hairstyle, and here's the new one. Very nice, very nice short hairstyle. You know, I would still prefer this one because of the long black braided hair covers the back, kind of creates this shadow effect. You know, easier to hide. Now let's take a look at what clothing they got. Oh wow, now this one is just asking to be fucking killed. This one is straight up asking to be killed in the middle of a fucking green field. I mean like, oh my god. But this is an amazing outfit. They really did a beautiful job like with the gloves and everything. Look at this. Uh, they're actually doing a fantastic job. Now let's take a, take a look at the pants. The pants definitely look, look nice, a little baggy, you know. Uh, 
but they definitely do have this interesting uh, glow to them. Well, let's continue on. So we got a new hairstyle and we got all new sets of clothing. Now, let's take a look at Jake. I know my characters aren't high level that high, so shh. In any case, we got Jake now more short haired and, you know, more dirtier. All right. Uh, we got a new outfit for him. Oh, this one looks really actually nifty. Oh, I really like the way this one looks. Wow. All right. And then he also got a brand new baggy pants. Wow, I gotta give him credit. These pants and this clothing does look really, really, really nice. Uh, sadly, I can't rotate these characters so you guys could see better. Let's continue on. Uh, right here we have our Meg. Look, come here, honey. Let's see what you have. Oh, she got that... Um, short hair one uh, style like from uh, you know one of those serial killer movies you know the last chick that to make it out alive and stuff you know I mean compared to the other ones like this one looks like you know like an FBI agent with shit gotten bad you know stuck somewhere in a confused environment now let's see what clothing she has that's an interesting uh, choice is that a tattoo or yeah, yeah this is sleeve. yeah this is definitely a compression sleeve it's actually kind of very very hard to see within within the game when you're making the character it looks really nice look at the elbow look they actually did the whole elbow thing nicely too wow all right no doubt I'm I, I Did look you bring I, me my sandwich no sandwich for you dude what no no, look at my dirty hands. Do you really want me to make a up. sandwich with dirty hands? <laughs> oh, shit! Ah! No! No! Is this a new map? No, it's not. No. Uh... Oh, yeah, because, you know, Dwight isn't, you know, is already not <laughs> hard to find. The red cap, bro. The red cap is what you need. <laughs> ah. Oh, God, yes. Oh, he got a nice shirt. Oh, look, they gave him gloves and shit. Nice, better looking jeans. You know, he looks like he's a trucker. You know, definitely. With these glasses and stuff. Interesting. I really like this new uh, designs that they have uh, implemented. They really did a good, uh, good job. Going to show off my fancy pizza outfit. You know, cause Dwight doesn't stand up, stand out already as a sore thumb. Now a fucking red shirt is really going to be a brutal. Well, you know, at least they won't see me bleed. At least they won't see me bleed. This is the other Boy Scout outfit right here that we got. We're gonna go into some light right now, you know, to make it look so you guys could see it better. It looks really dirty. Oh. Otters is getting owned. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very nice outfit. They definitely did a lot of work here. Now, they also have introduced a bunch of new gestures into the game. By clicking one or two or on your joystick, you could actually do gestures. Like, you know, you could point now to where the killer might be or where do you want to go or who you want to save. You could actually wave people in now. Be like, you know, if somebody is like, injured you could be like yo buddy you know come here and shit you know let's be friends or the killer is like over there be careful you know this which is quite amazing there's only two gestures so far but hey it's already two more than we had yesterday you know you know while crawling y yeah this this is going to be way fun if you win as a dwight in a red outfit you deserve extra points <laughs> Before uh, we continue to the map, we'd love to point something out that they've, uh, you know, kind of try to addre address the infinite uh, Duke glitch where you can jump back and forth a non-stop and run around. This spot right here, before they revamped it, was in a C formation and you were able to jump back and forth and the killer was not able to kind of get you because it would take him time. So as you guys could see right here, they revamped it completely. 
Now there's this wooden thing that if you're being chased, you could kind of drop it down behind you, you know? And right here, you could no longer just keep duking him around. I mean, you could try to, but it's not as good as it was before. You know, as you guys could see right here, now he can actually cut you off. You know, it, it, they, they are trying to redesign the duking spots. You know, with the window covers and this, so, you know, people are having less issues and killers are having more fun. Because, you know, killers aren't overpowered as this. At least that's my personal opinion. Especially Wraith. Look at that bastard. Killer. Excuse me, Mr. Killer. Mr. Killer. <laughs> but excuse me, I'm tapping him on the shoulder. Excuse me, Mr. Killer. <laughs> Mr. Killer. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you, are you there, sir? Do you need medical attention? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode on Dead by Daylight on the patch 1.0.4 with the introduction of a new map and the new features and the new revamps that they've done. Actually, I've really enjoyed this, especially this, you know, uh, flower shop outfit. You know, you cannot have my flowers or a pickle shop outfit. Uh, are they even pickle shop? Oh, in any case. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode and if you click like now, I will send you this fucking bull over by my... You could have this dead bull in your house and barbecue him, you know, dip him in some cheese and shit. You know, enjoy this delicious bull. Plus, I'll think you're an amazing person, but that's just besides the point. Thank you all and have a wonderful evening. Where I'm from.